We're in a situation where Ukraine continues to be brutally attacked across the board by munitions, by these cluster munitions that are have dud rates that are very, very low, I mean, very high, that are dangerous to civilians, number one. Number two, uh, the Ukrainians are running out of ammunition. Uh, the ammunition that they, they call them 155 millimeter weapons. This is a this is a war relating to munitions, and uh, the running out of those that ammunition, and we're low on it. Good grief! Joe Biden defending his decision to send cluster bombs to Ukraine. Biden said, "This is a war of muni munitions, and Ukraine is low on ammunition." And then Biden also leaked classified information, saying the United States also low on a particular ammunition. Also, to the deployment of these cluster bombs, some in the establishment have said their use could be a war crime and a huge escalation that could lead to World War III. Meantime, Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky slamming NATO over their decision to not invite Ukraine into the alliance, saying, quote, it's unprecedented and absurd when time frame is not set neither for the invitation nor for Ukraine's membership. Here to react is Kansas Senator Roger Marshall. Senator, it's great to see you again, sir. Uh, Mr. Zelensky not sounding too happy with the NATO alliance. What do you make of his reaction? Well, Chris, uh, good, good to be with you as well. I mean, it's not surprising. That's a desperate uh, pr president of his country. He's seeing his own countrymen die every, every day. I, I wish that President Zelensky would talk more about peace, and that's why I'm against all the fighting. I really hope that the dying ends, ends very, very soon. I think that bringing Ukraine into NATO right now would actually add to the fighting, would make Mr. Putin even dig his hills in more. So I understand his concern, but now is not the time. Well, and, and to these cluster bombs uh, being sent to Ukraine, American-made, some have observed that World Wars, Senator, have started for less. Are any of your esteemed members of your caucus who pushed for billions of dollars to be sent to Ukraine, are any of them aware of where an American cluster bomb killing Russians could lead this, this conflict? Well, I, I can't speak for all my colleagues, but what I can say is this, that this, uh, this president is uh, continued to have one red line after another that he's walked through. This is the president that said, uh, no troops on the grounds, we're not going to support jets, no cluster bombs, no long-range missiles, and he's done all of those. Chris, I grew up in the Vietnam era, and this is starting to feel a lot like Vietnam. That's why I want the fighting to stop. I want the dying to stop. I don't want to ever go back home to my home cemetery and see the flag draped coffins of our young soldiers uh, lining, the, lining that cemetery ever, ever again. That's why we need to be fighting to stop this. And, and I want to add, meanwhile, this president has never maximized his bank sanctions on, on Russia as well. It just seems like this president has made one mistake after the other. And I don't have to tell you or your audience, we wouldn't even be there today. Putin would not be in Ukraine if it wasn't for Afghanistan. Well, not only that, if we had a, a different president actually sitting in the Oval Office, uh, he wouldn't be in there. Look, uh, Senator, since you didn't want to comment, if, if, if none of your, your colleagues in the Republican caucus have said to you their concerns about where this might lead, what kind of a dangerous escalation the addition of American-made cluster bombs into a theater like this could lead, where are you? Are you concerned that perhaps, Senator, that this could lead to an escalation that could... They could I mean, come on, the headlines write themselves, don't they? American-made cluster bomb kills Russian child or kills Russian troops. Are you concerned about where this might lead, sir? Well, more than cluster bombs, I'm concerned about who the president of this country is, that his inability to lead, his leading from behind, and he's always reactive. He could accidentally fall into World War III very easily. He's the problem. He has no, uh, no, no demonstrable ability to manage uh, national security. It's one failure after the other. That's my biggest concern. This cluster bomb, one little mm -hmm. symptom of his back, walk, back talking uh, uh, policy. Look, Joe Biden's the, the big concern right here and now. All right, let me ask you to put your medical professional hat on. Uh, you have uh, also come out heavily against new CDC guidance saying men can chest feed. That's their word. The very term 
Senator, the CDC is using is grotesque, absurd, and unscientific. You released a statement saying the CDC has lost all credibility and is in direct contradiction with the FDA pushing men filled with hormones and other drugs to breastfeed children. Men produce very little milk, even if they can successfully make it as a medical doctor, Senator. Give me your thoughts on medical science being allowed to be perverted and medicine to be perverted. Tell me, how do we reverse the Democrats' damage that they've done here? Well, Chris, when will the woke left wake up and realize that putting their social agenda ahead of the health of babies is the wrong thing to do? Chris, I delivered a baby most every day of my life for some 25 years, 30 years if you count residency, and breastfeeding was an integral part of what I preached, what I asked my patients to do. And now what, we're, what, we're, what the CDC is promoting uh, it is absolutely, uh, you know, as far as I'm concerned, they're probably breaking the law. The FDA took the medications that they're recommending, they took it off the market because it caused an, a, a heart arrhythmia for adults. Can you imagine what would happen when this gets into the baby's uh, system as well? So we know that this drug passes through the, uh, the, the fluid. I'm not going to give them the, the, the compliment of saying breast milk itself, but some type of breast fluid is going to pass through there. They're also given uh, these biological men estrogen and progesterone hormones, diuretics. They're throwing a concoction together to make them make this fluid and they're putting this tra the transgender's uh, mental health ahead of the baby's health. I think it's wrong and, and that's why I'm fighting so hard against this. Someone has to stand up and speak for those babies.